Alrighty, welcome to another night of Co Esports. We are going to be having the championship round here um, of Co vs. Morningside. And we'll be having uh, Riley on here in just a second. Got to unmute here. There we go. All right, welcome back. And Riley will be taking over casting tonight. I'll uh, be coming in and out between matches. But we're just waiting on the other team. Um, and Riley, go ahead and take it away. Yeah. Hi, stream. I am Riley. I'm from the varsity team, you know. We're just uh, casting some academy tonight. We got... This is what the... Uh... Oh, oh. This is just me. All right, well, we're against Morningside here tonight, folks, for the NECC Navigators. Um, not sure what region we are, but big championship here tonight, folks. Starting out, first mode will be control. I'm not sure which team has uh, the map pick for that, but that is definitely an important factor. As per usual, we got Co running our standard lineup with Sassy Jesus on tank, BMC Sniper, and Eric the Red on DPS. Anayance and Casey on support. Big game here tonight. This is the championship. Co Academy has fought a very long season here to get to this point. And looks like we are banning Ilios for our control point. It's like a little bit of complications are going down with uh, the map ban and pick process, but hopefully we can get that sorted out. Co bans Ilios, Morningside bans Samoa. So I believe that means we get our pick. Curious what 
we will opt to go with. Historically, we have liked, you know, maps like Lijong Tower, maybe some Busan. Never know though. Co Academy just plays a, a pretty good control, usually, so. Just depends what uh what composition they are planning on cooking with tonight. Looks like we are going to be taking map one to Lijong. Morning side is ready. And so is Co College. Looks like we're going into map one. Now arriving at Lijiang Tower. It's always exciting to see what control point you're going to get on that first map control point kind of cool game mode and you know having three different maps for for uh for every map three different points i should say that you can capture lots of different variability and uh you know different compositions that you can run for for different points that favor different things it's kind of cool Systems online. Weapons ready. speaking of that we get the infamous control center to start us off here co college looking to run some Arissa. with likely BMC Sniper on the May. That has been a staple pick all year long for them um, in these these maps that are, you know, a little bit closer quarter. Morningside on the Arissa as well. And the Bastion. That is the Bastion for him going down. Good Javelin by Sassy Jesus. Kel has a good position here, just playing the, the right side. Eventually they will need to look, figure out how they're gonna take point. And Lithium goes down on the Moira. Casey finds a kill with the ball. I wonder what damage came up before a BMC Sniper. Kills Junkrat. But Morningside's Arissa able to find our Arissa and Reaper. Co captures the point. And it looks like it is uh, able to take this fight. Co just looking to keep Morningside at bay here as Sassy Jesus returns to the fight. Good plays by BMC Sniper though. Already very close to a blizzard. We got Eric the Red on Tracer. I 
don't think he came out on Tracer. I think he was on Reaper. I could be wrong. But big Blizzard comes out by BMC Sniper. We got Eric the Red in the back line. Hopefully some kills are able to find. Big Dinks by BMC Sniper. Casey finds Coffee Addict on the Kiriko. And that's a couple kills. Great fight. Early Blizzard. Really well done by Ko there. Using their early ultimate advantage. Ooh, we are calling for a tech pause. Uh, and that is Morningside's tech pause, to be clear. Hopefully everything is okay. But looking into this next fight, though, looks like Sassy Jesus is walking up a little bit. And if I remember correctly, uh, Onyance has the Kitsune Rush. Ooh, that is unfortunate there. Uh, Morningside's Moira player, Lithium, leaves the game. That could potentially cost them an ultimate ability. I'm not sure if they used Ko or not there. But Arp. This is an interesting circumstance, but I think it'll be handled as soon as their player is able to get on another computer. Not sure what ults Morningside is coming up on right now, but Ko will definitely be looking to use this Kasune Rush, um, as that is our only ult, and if needed, you know, maybe we can use the Arisa ult as well. But I think Ko has a very good angle to win the rest of this round. Yeah, unfortunately, a PC crash there on uh, the side of uh, BVU. And like you said, they had a Moira going to lose all that uh, ult economy there. Um, so they'll be down to support ult. I don't... What else did they right, I don't. I don't think it came out the fight before I did no, it. No, I don't. I don't ever remember seeing it. So. Yeah, so... That is unfortunate. Yep. Um, Are there... Any complications, like with someone uh, joining, like no, they'll back be able into to a game join or... back up in. Okay, yeah, that's good. They just lose their ult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's enough of a yeah punishment. Yep. Not that it's their fault. No, no, it's unfortunate. It happens. We've we've seen yeah. it happen on our end too. So computers, technology, be technology sometimes.
All right, I'll come back in and <clears throat> talk to chat a little bit while we wait here. Let's see, flip my floppers. Does Co College Esports officially endorse Metallica? Sure, why not? I like Metallica. If I like it, then it then it is. If Co loses Air to Red pays his own tuition. <laughs> that would suck. Buttery smooth the voice of Riley. And we're gonna be if you guys stay tuned in for a varsity when Riley has to play. Um uh, we'll have uh, Max and Tori uh, casting. I've kind of taken a back seat from casting because I'm in the room, so I don't want teams to think that I'm coaching the team while casting. We've been <laughs> accused of that before. So um, hopefully next year we're going to actually have a, a different room to do it. So, okay, we're going to be getting back in here. Thank you, Squirtus. We're going in. Sassy G just farming the Arisa ult. If Ko loses, nobody is leaving the lab until they hit top 500. I think that's probably what needs to happen. Big ult coming up from Sassy G just. Kills the Kiriko, but gets traded. Everyone's going down. It's a massacre. Eric the Red's in the back line. Can he close it out? There goes the recall. I think it's a lost fight for Ko here. Oh, there's Fade. Oh, I... Arisa hits the Javelin on Eric, unfortunately. Maybe could have found the kill. Either way, though, saves his Pulse Bomb. Ko has 92% to the point, so... Good looks. Sassy G just pushing it into the white rooms as BMC Sniper finds Coffee Addict. Kiriko goes down. Arisa ult from Morningside kills Sassy Jesus combined with the Bastion ult, but that's not lost yet. Ko has a couple kills. I think it's a 3v2. 3v4, excuse me. Suzu Cleanse comes out. Can Ko find a couple of kills here? Both teams are going to have players coming back. Ani kills the other team's Kiriko. Kiriko def, may, may I say. Right, uh, and Moira def goes down too. Oh my god. Triple kill by Sassy Jesus. Love to see it. And that is a round win from Ko College. 100 to 46, not bad, you know. They they lost about one fight. Didn't use too many ults, you know. And had them to uh, take back that next that next fight and win the point. That's great. Really well played. My dimensions have not changed. Does the javelin make me look taller? A little, but I still think you're just as cute as before. Oh, that is. Thank you. <laughs> Co. Have an Eric TP them out to get to that point a little faster. Eric staying on the tracer and sat and BMC sniper swapping over to the Sojourn rather than the May. I think that's a good pick here on a map like this. Not as much value from those walls. Sojourn brings a lot more range. As you can see, he is just mowing down from afar. Morningside on a similar comp as they were on before, with the Bastion and the Symmetra. Hopefully BMC Sniper is able to find some kills here with his rail. And there goes the Symmetra. Eric goes down, but it's an even fight. Both tanks trading abilities. And Koda goes down as Morningside's able to cap the point. 
Unfortunately, Morningside had the Symmetra TP to uh, get them onto that point. And that can be a really hard composition to kind of uh, retake the point from, right? Once once they have that point with the Symmetra and the Bastion set up, if they play that right, it is just some hard distance to clear there. Arisa ult comes out from Morningside. Isn't very effective though, because Ani has a great Suzu. DMC Sniper is coming up on the overclock. It's a little low. Couple ults by Cole, by Ko. And Ko goes down too. Ko just looking to regroup here. As the point ticks away, warning side coming up on 70% here. Super important, Ko wins this next fight, really. It's probably going to be the last fight they get. Overclock comes up by BMC Sniper. Sassy G just trying to tank for him. And BMC goes down. Big Javelin by by Sassy Jesus. Those turrets are melting and so is the Ko, but Eric is still alive. Can he make something happen? So is Ani. And it's just not enough. Sim wall by Morningside. And that is a really, really clean point by Ko, unfortunately. Or, excuse me, by Morningside. Ko. Will, uh... Definitely have to... Think about how they want to go about fighting these this next point because this next point I imagine they will not want to run the May either is there so can do for this pain? I think if it is, definitely gonna have to make some changes because that was a really smooth point by Morningside looks like Eric might be considering the Reaper could be all the change we need Of course, giving his team a teleporter first. Oh, playing Symmetra. Couldn't have expected that. Gets the TP, but unfortunately, PMC Sniper gets booped off. Good read by Morningside's Lucio, actually. Really good read. Good snipes by Eric. But a couple of his teammates go down. It's just not going to be enough. Well, Ko did have the TP play, but unfortunately we're outplayed by um, the uh, Lucio boop, I can't lie. So will Ko... Okay, so they do swap to me, Reaper, no more Symmetra. I think that's not a bad idea, you know, just go back to what you won the first round on. Even though it is a little bit of a different point. Sometimes if it ain't broke, you shouldn't try to fix it. Good snipes by BMC here. Trying to help his team walk in. And Ko is able to find the Bastion. Great wall by BMC Sniper. Arissa trying to tank for Morningside. Is able to get BMC's ice block out. And there's the Ko. And there's the boop as well. And there goes three players on Ko. And that is a good fight by Morningside. Ko looking to go right again, and they are able to find that Bastion, a great Javelin by Sassy Jesus, and they change up the play, run left. That wall by BMC Sniper trying to prevent his team from getting booped off, I kind of like the play. The beat goes down by Morningside, and so does BMC's Blizzard. It's a great Blizzard, Ko's able to find three, and as Morningside gets their percentage up to about 80, Ko is able to finally win a fight, turn that momentum. And hopefully, you know, able to turn the tides here. Coming into this next fight, they do have the Arisa ult. Supercharger. I don't know why I don't like calling it by its name. Um, 
hopefully Sassy Juice is able to find some value with that. Morningside pushes in right with the symmetrical wall. Splits the point and is able to take down Sassy Jesus and Casey. Sassy G BMC walking on the back line. Big ult coming out from Eric. Gets killed by Ace and the Symmetra. BMC finds two! Huge shots. Oh, unfortunately, it's just not enough. And Ko drops the point. They're trying to stall as much as they can. It might not be a last fight yet. Both Arissa's, oh, wait, I'm, I think both Arissa's just ulted. I'm not sure if that's what I saw. It is an absolute dogfight on the point. Ko finds two. Eric goes down. So does Sassy Jesus. No matter the outcome of this fight, a fantastic stall by Ko. Good ice block by BMC Sniper. He throws the blizzard. Oh, I'm not too sure if that was the best time, but it's okay. 85%. Ko may have a touch here. Sassy just trying to walk in, just getting melted by these beams from Morningside though, is not able to get a touch. Eric set up, does touch the point, Casey goes down. And that's looking like a map win from Morningside as Ko trickles onto the point, and that is it. 1-2, Ko takes, excuse me, Morningside takes Lichong Tower. Folks, this uh, this is a first of four, so we're gonna be here for a little bit, and have no fear. Ko can absolutely come back and has come back from maps like that before. Well played by both teams, and uh, I'm gonna be heading now, giving it away to Kurt. Alrighty, we'll be back here in just a few minutes with map number two.
All right, they're going to be going with Junker Tap. All right. We are going in to Junker Town. For our escort map. I believe that was Ko's pick since they lost map one. I like that. I think I can see the angle considering uh, we have only seen some Metro Bastion um, succeed from uh, Morningside's perspective, right? So. Junker Town can be a good map to maybe get around, uh, you know, that what they're uh, struggling with. And force Morning Side onto that. Co is a little bit more familiar with. Uncle, that was coming up. Absolutely true. I mean, I think. Even, even the varsity team, we we historically start off a little slow and we heat up, so. Strategy just sticking to the Arisa. Character Red, maybe on. Side coming out on a Sigma comp. With a soldier. Ani goes down to the soldier. But Ko is getting some good cart push and BMC is able to find the Kiriko and the Sigma is low. Maybe they're able to exploit that healer going down and kill the tank. Doesn't look like it. Still Sassy Jesus is just pushing that cart for free as his DPS wreak havoc. Great shot by Eric. Finds the Bastion as well. That's two coming from Eric. BMC goes down. Ani finds the Moira. And Eric gets another. That is three kills for Eric that fight. Love to see it. Very good Widowmaker, that young man was. BMC just continuing to off angle. The more that Eric the Red and the MC Sniper can peek these different angles and apply pressure from separate angles, the more value they're going to be able to find. Eric does, I believe, find a kill, but goes down himself. That's usually a pretty good trade, though. Morningside's Arissa drops down into the back line and is kind of low. Co able to find the kill. Sassy G just fighting to stay alive, and he does. Great support coming down from Co as their DPS are able to find the kills. DMC Sniper just constantly applying this pressure. This is really good. Looks like Morningside does swap to Reaper. But Eric has his sights up and you cannot be peeking Eric when he's got his sights up. Another great off angle by DMC Sniper. This is big. And uh, Ko is able to get that second point with five minutes to spare. That is a huge push. Just not letting off the gas, constantly pushing up. Putting your DPS in these oppressive angles. Co doing everything right right now. BMC does have that overclock. I think this Discord, coming from Ani, is providing a lot of utility. 
The Urusa ult comes out from morning side. Ko able to avoid it and respond with their own Katsune Rush as BMC takes the high ground. And there it goes. Warning side's Orisa. Sassy Juju Solts. Gets some cooldowns out. Finds a couple kills. And Ko just putting on a rampage right now. Maintaining the overclock can be a very powerful ultimate in an angle like this. The Bastion ult comes out. Eric finding the Kiriko has just been getting picks consistently this whole map. I can't lie. Eric, love to see that. In that Discord orb, just constantly being applied to the Orisa. Two go down on Ko's side. Might be hard to finish the push with uh, only three. Yep, and there goes Sassy Jesus, but that's okay. Morningside having to use a couple ults to fend them off. And, uh, you know, Ko is in good shape here. They have overclock. Possibly something else, you know, with three and a half minutes left to go. Eric swaps off of Widowmaker, goes to the Tracer. I think that's uh, definitely a good call on the on this point. Harder to find the Widowmaker value. And he is forcing that back cap. Gets the Kiriko to respond to him. Not bad pressure. Coming from Eric. Eric just trying to poke. And punish. The Discord's coming from Ani. No fade from the Moira. Sassy Jesus kills Bastion. But there goes Eric. Ko very split this fight, unfortunately. Casey kills Moira. But is not able to get out. Ko has four ults this fight. Realistically, should be all you need to finish out this push. But, it's a lot easier said than done. Morningside might have some ults of the, their own to spawn with. Eric just constantly applying pressure on the payload. To help his team try to push in. He throws his pulse bomb, but his team goes down. He is the only one alive as Coffee Addict throws out the Katsune Rush. Not bad, but Ko does use all four of their ults that they were holding as well. And now we're in a little bit of a trickier position. Got a minute, 15 seconds for Ko to finish this push and get all points. Could make their defense a lot easier, you know, knowing that they don't have to respond with the full hold. Or not a full hold, but not letting Morningside cap the point themselves. Ko looking to take more high ground this fight, it looks like. I'd like to see that. Eric gets a pick. Both, both teams Moira's go down, but Ko is down both supports as Bastion is able to find them. And there goes Ko. We got 40 seconds left. Could definitely make a fight happen. It's gonna be hard though. It's gonna be strung together. Might not have everyone in the position you want them to be. Ko doesn't have the tracer anymore, so this touch is going to be a little bit more awkward. Hopefully they're able to get Sassy Jesus in before he takes too much damage. Looks like they're coming behind, but the payload is farther back, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Big ult coming from Sassy Jesus. Ah, oh, but he goes down. Eric finds a trade in the Reaper, though. And Ko is not able to touch the point as their tank is dead. And a big defense coming from Morningside there on the third point. Nonetheless, though, Ko pushed the payload very far 
and are in a great position coming into this defense. It can just be nice getting that full push to know that you you have that extra distance to work with, you know, especially, you know, in that third point, it's, it's really, it's really important because, you know, your spawn is so close, especially on Junker Town. You can, you can really stall that point for a long time. And Morningside did just that, so. Hopefully, for Ko's sake, they are able to find a response, but really good defense from running side though. It can be hard when a team has such strong momentum like Ko had, you know, coming into that point with five minutes to, uh, you know, calm down, stop your staggering. Think a little bit more logically. So Eric is going to be on the Widowmaker. I think that's a good call. This first point, really long distance. And uh, you know, you're able to do some cool stuff like this hook shot that he's doing right here. Ooh, a body shot. Morningside has a sniper of their own though. This is gonna be a very important battle for Ko. But you know what? Maybe Eric doesn't even need to handle it because Sassy Jesus takes down Morningside's a Widowmaker. I'm I'm not sure if I'm if I'm here right now if you guys can hear me but Okay, it looks like looks like I'm fully back. And morning side while it was gone capped that first point. Wasn't terribly quick though. Co was able to chip some time off of them. And it looks like Eric swaps off of that Widowmaker goes back to Cassidy. Bastional comes out and there's BMC's overclock. Not many kills coming. It's just stalemate, but that's okay. Ko is able to get Morningside off of that payload and Ani finds the kill. That code's been needing. Co fighting for this right side, BMC able to get a headshot. Great pick from him. Ani taking down <laughs> Morningside's D.Va and popping 
her tranquility. May have been a misfire, because I don't think there was much pressure on her, but I'm not for sure, I'm not for sure. The attack visor comes out on the low ground, and so does the diva bomb on the high ground. And that is a good combo, as the diva bomb finds three. It looks to be that morning side. Just gonna take this second point without Ko being able to get a touch. With that being said, they have three minutes and 40 seconds to get that payload to where Morningside was able to, or to where Ko was able to. Coming into this point with less time than Ko did. Big damage from Morningside. It's really hard for Ko to walk up at all here. They are able to get a kill though. Onto this soldier. Unfortunately, Sassy Jesus goes down as he tries to use his ult. Ani doing everything she can to keep everyone up. Eric gets a kill in the back line with his high noon, finds the Bastion. Oh, looks like Ko able to turn that fight there. Great, great kills by Eric. Ani doing a good job of playing for the win condition. Helping her, Cassidy. side throwing out a few ults the diva bomb comes out this time gets none bmc trying to get a kill with his overclock morning side just taking too much cover eric the red finds a kill finds two bmc goes down ko up two players right now looking to be a good fight as that clock continues to tick In a big fight win coming from Ko. Morningside has one more minute here to make it happen. This is one fight territory though, realistically. Attack visor. Coming from winning side, kills Eric. Sassy Jesus goes down as well. Ooh, and that is the majority of Ko going down. And that is the map as well. Morningside takes Junker Town, which also brings them to a 2 0 lead in this series. Oh man, I think we all know what this is. It's gonna it's gonna be that big diva bomb coming out second point. Really like the timing on that. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but it was paired at the same time as the attack visor. So the attack visor made the people on high ground take cover and the diva bomb killed the people that were taking cover on high ground. Pretty pretty smart. But that is that is it for me right now. I'm gonna head it off to uh, Kurt and I'll be back for map three. All right, we will be back for map three. We're going to go ahead and choose, I think. We're going to go New Junk City here. Let me... And uh, we'll be right back with map three.
All right, we're back here on New Junk City, and Riley will take it away. All righty. As Kurt said, we're here on New Junk. Both previous maps being relatively close. Morningside currently has a 2 0 lead. Let's see if Ko can look to dwindle down that lead. We are going to have BMC on the May. I like that. He's been doing well on everything tonight, but I think the May has gone the best for us while having Eric the Red on Reaper. Big kill from Eric taking down Morningside's Bastion. And that is the first point capped by Ko. Morningside starting out on Sombra. Casey able to find that Sombra. And we are just pushing them into their spawn and finding kills. Big wall from BMC Sniper. This is a wild stagger. Killing the Arissa in their own spawn. Ani unfortunately goes down, but they are also able to find that Bastion, and that is that is a quick 50% here. This point realistically will be coming down to one more fight. And a big blossom from Eric, confirming the kill on Kiriko, and uh, confirming that win for the first point. Really big deal. Ko able to get. The positioning on this second point before Morningside. That is always helpful. But Morningside trying to push in with the Bastion form and the Kitsune. BMC responds with a Blizzard. Unfortunately, it goes down though. So does Casey. Ko down one right now. Can Eric find a couple kills? That's a big one on the Bastion. Kills Kiriko as well. Morningside capped the point, but this is a very winnable 2v2. <laughs> Both Reapers use their ultimates. And Eric trying to take the point, but unfortunately Morningside's Arissa is coming back. He gets the kill on, on Moira. His team is coming back now. And he kills the Arissa. Very well done by Eric the Red. Even though that Morningside got 36% there. There's not really much else that could have been done, to be honest. So, very well played by Eric. Constantly staying alive, always being on the right target. Ani, trying her best to support Eric, doing a good job up until the Death Blossom from Morningside was dropped on her head. Can't really blame her for dying there. But Ko's in a great spot now. Big ult from Sassy Jesus. John BMC tries to trap them. And they are able to find the kill onto the Arissa. And as the point takes the 70%, it is unclear whether Morningside 
We'll get a touch here. Hello there. BMC looking for a wall. But it looks like Morningside just opts to rotate to the next point. Probably a good call. I don't think their touch would have been very uh, effective, you know, so. Well, it's definitely high risk. I'll put it that way. Over there. Ko again is uh, able to get that positioning right away on this point. That's it's very nice. They're doing a good job at holding it down. Once they do have the point. The coal comes out, and so does Eric's Blossom. It's on the Morningside's back line, and it is big. Ani drops her Kitsune. Eric dies. Clearly because he's a noob, not because he just wiped their team. Very well done. By Co College. And Ko, just 50% away from 3-0-ing Morningside on Flashpoint. Can they make it happen? This would be a great turn of the tides of momentum as they are down 0-2 in the series. Arisa ult comes out from Morningside. Big Suzu. Both of Ko's DPS are going down unfortunately BMC drops the blizzard but they can't find any kills from it as both DPS did go down and Morningside flips the point Bastion ult comes out from Morningside as Ko's walking in. Doesn't find any. Blossom. Oh, Sassy Jesus tries to respond with an ult of his own. Unfortunately goes down while he's casting it. And that is going to be the third point going to Morningside. coming into this next point with the Moira ult. Trying to keep Morningside off as Morningside pops a couple of their own ults. The Katsune goes down, and so does Eric's ult. Oh, Bastion has 1 HP. Sassy just gets the trade. It is an even fight right now. Ko gets two. And that is a fight win from Ko as they cap the point. Morningside using Katune. 
to try to take this point. And they combo the same way that Ko just did with the Katune and the Death Blossom and is actually effective as well. Ko down one and Morningside does have the point. I think they were down more than one at that point. But either way. Walking in, coming up on a Katsune rush, the Bastion ult comes out from Morningside. Hopefully we are able to live that. We are indeed. Ooh, the Suzu for the Arisa ult. Here comes Cole and Blizzard. BMC dies while throwing it. The trade comes out as Bastion goes down. And Sassy Jesus gets two. Eric finds another, and that is one more on Morningside before Ko wins that fight. And recapture the point. 70%. This is the last point Ko needs to take this map. We have a Katune. And we're holding close. The point's ticking, 93, 94. Is Warningside able to find a touch? They do get a touch with the Reaper, but he goes down. That's a big pick for Ko. The Katsune. Casey and Ani just pumping heals onto Sassy Jesus as Eric the Red uses Death Blossom and finds two. And that is going to be a map win for Ko College. Right, taking it two to one lead for Morningside now. Excellent job there by Ko yeah. to make this uh, one, two. Eric the Red with the play of the game and we'll be right back with map number four.
All right, we're going into Coliseo, and here's Riley. All right. As Kurt said, Coliseo, I think that is going to be Morningside's pick. Also, possibly coming up here, if this keeps going the distance, uh, we will lose Riley. He will have to come in and get ready for his uh, his game. The varsity is at true. eight o'clock, so uh, we'll hopefully maybe Kinko can win the next couple, and we'd be good. Absolutely. Co coming out with that Sojourn cast com. Both teams just going to be poking very heavy here as that is how Coliseo first point usually goes. Eric looking to just Get the Arisa low right now, it looks like. Eric finds the kill on Morningside Sombra. That is big. Unfortunately, BMC goes down. It's an even fight here. And that is a very nice fight win from Ko. Morningside gets 12 meters, but doesn't really matter that much. Ko has three ults for this next fight. Unfortunately, the Arisa ult goes down and they are able, Morningside is able to take down Ko, but coming to this next fight, we still have four ults because we did not use any before. And we might actually, we are not able to stop Morningside before they take the lead, but it's still such a short distance right now that it doesn't really matter. Eric gets a great kill on the soldier as he just stays on this high ground wreaking havoc shooting their back line everything you want from your Cassidy player oh big super charger coming out from sassy jesus hate to see it it's all good, we didn't need it anyway. There's the Katsune Visor. BMC Sniper. Not able to take down the Katsune Visor. And Ko is just on the back foot here. Hopefully they're able to get out without losing anyone. Eric does kill the Sombra. So that makes this an even fight. Kiriko Def is on Finds Coffee Addict. Casey goes down. This is an all-out dogfight. Hard to say what the numbers are. I think we're in Ko's favor. Morningside pops to your Arisa ult. Kills two. And now it is just Sassy Jesus and BMC Sniper. I believe this is a 2v2 on point. The Arisa chasing down BMC Sniper. Uh, before Sassy Jesus is able to kill Morningside's Arisa. Or Moira.
in that is the fight. Warning side takes back the lead, but Eric is just back on this high ground that he's always so oppressive from. And he finds yet another on the Moira. Supercharger comes out from Sassy Jesus. And that is a good fight from Ko. As we go into this next one, we have a couple ults ourselves, and we're only down 20 meters. Overclock comes out from BMC. Gets a couple of shots onto the soldier, unable to finish the kill. Gets hit with the coalescence and Orisa ult makes it out. Ko responds with the Katune as Eric goes down. Ko looking to find a kill quick. And so they do, making this a 4v5, 4v4. Unfortunately, Sassy Jesus does go down. And now this is a lost fight for Ko. As they will have to look to get out. But Morningside is on the chase. Big shot from BMC Sniper. As he finds the Kiriko in the back line. Lots of players are low on Morningside. Ko. Fortunately, able to finish the fight. Take them out. The overclock does come out from Morningside there. We did not see it, but we heard it. Sassy Jesus doing a good job right now, taking some more space, pushing up. This is gonna help Ko at uh, taking the space that they need to, getting getting their tank in the right position pre-fight. And the Cole comes out. Casey kills two, kills three. Big play from Casey, and that is all of Morningside going down as BMC does as well. comes down and Eric goes down with it. Ko thankfully is able to get the lead here. So no matter what the outcome of this fight is, as as you just goes down, they are looking to be in a better foot than they were before. There are only two minutes remaining, so Ko can really look to just use their ults conservatively here.
All right. As I was gone, lagging out, Ko put on a dominant performance and was able to push this payload, this cart, this robot, some would say, up to uh, 120 meters. Really well done. The Bastion ult comes out, so does the Supercharger. Ko has four ults. As they unfortunately do lose this fight, they are gonna have four ults to uh, to respond with. So, well, it's not over yet. Eric does find one, and so does Casey. Good shots, just aren't enough. Really good try though. They were able to get a couple of Morningside ultimates out there, so that is awesome. Blossom comes out from morning side. Isn't very lethal. BMC does go down. It's an even fight. Here come Ko's ults. And they're able to take get a couple kills with them. And uh, play that fight exactly as they should. And you know, now this is a 2-0, or excuse me, 2-up game. And uh, really, anyone can take it. Okay, you see with the play of the game. All right. Remember this. Nicely done. Nicely done there by Ko. Tied up to two. And we going into map five here soon.
All right. We won't have a caster here unless Max is able to get on before. Um, so it is a first to four. So um, each team still needs a win. Two more maps. And we're just waiting for them to R up and uh, we'll get into it. Think of it as fuel beneath the flames of your vengeance.
We're all okay. Yeah. They're all watching the the match. You can go. Yeah, you can sit yourself in. To devastate. I smell blood in the air. Daisover, they have this coming. 
So let's give it to them. Watch your flanks. They might try something. And that, and that will make it 3-2 for Ko. And we'll be right back with that map.
right, we're going to go into Antarctic. As Ko needs one more map, Morningside needs to win this to extend it. And we'll be back, or uh, I'll be back after this map. Unless Max gets on beforehand to cast it. Come on in. Do you need to come in or? Oh, okay. to try again. If we do this right, 
They won't even know what happened. Everyone stick together. We can do this.
All right, we're going into map seven here. And as first four, it will go to route 66. together all of us if you can outthink your opponent it's easy to outfight them you're, you look cheery as cheery as you are significant i smell blood in the air Nothing a quick repair won't fix.
Greetings. Lending a hand. Misery made manifest. Enemy located. Much better. Time's cursive. Have no fear, Max Sweat is here to finish the cast. Uh, looks like Co just got two points um, after pushing on Route 66. I believe I will be joined here by my girlfriend Tori here shortly. Hola. Yeah, um, and you'll have to watch the stream on Discord Twitter. Nope. Nope. That's the same thing. Nope. Down. Up. Where it says live. Just click watch stream. There you go. Um. Map 7. It sounds like it's been an absolute fight back and forth between us and Morningside. Nothing breaks that I cannot manage. Um, good to see Ko. Battle 
Playing the Cassidy here. How's it going? Hello. Hey. Going in a great spot here though. Um Route 66, super easy to full hold, half hold. You know, kind of whatever you want to do here. You can spawn hold even potentially if you want to. Would be surprised to see Co decide to do that. What do you think, Troy? Do you think they'd go for a spawn hold here? No, I think anything is possible with this team. <laughs> Uh, sticking with their trademark Arisa double marksman comp. Uh... Big thing here, there looks like they're playing the Diva Soldier. Uh, Diva's gonna run at our backline here. Big thing here is, ooh, they do have the Bastion as well. Gotta make sure our Arisa stays up here. Play smart positionally. Uh, Kyle, a veteran on the team. Someone I've come to know a lot, and a great first kill. Um, and getting this first hold can be super impactful. John gets very low there, but is able to back out. He's gonna wait for that passive to start ticking. They are gonna get some push, but the one benefit the code does have is they aren't losing the fight, you know? You can let them push a little bit. We're gonna get one more pick, and Kyle's gonna go on this batch, and I love this aggressive play by him and John, and they're gonna get two kills there. Great coordination there, and that's Another pick and see if they're able to stagger the D.Va. D.Va didn't even see you. So dirty. Oh, and we are going to get a long stagger and the nice shot coming up from John. Going in a good spot here. Uh, going to be coming up on five alts. Um, would love to see them maybe look to hold this corner a little bit. With the Bastion especially, sometimes this high ground can be really strong. Eric's going to miss the roll. That was a little bit tragic. <laughs> John gets very aggressive here, might get caught out. Yeah, he's gonna get caught out. Gets very aggressive there, that is gonna be Sojournal, not available. We are gonna go with Coalescence. Nice! Still turnable for sure, might need to use Castle just to reload. Diva's gonna get very low. I mean, Nade going down. Oh, I believe they'll get checkpoint off that, I don't see Code being able to turn this. Poe gonna give this first checkpoint, and John's gonna die late again. The D.Va underneath getting a ton of value. D.Va getting a ton of value. Surprised to see Poe not swap for uh, a May or anything here. Um, Gonna be Kitsune here with Bastion, and Kyle's just gonna get melted there. <laughs> John is gonna get one back, maybe two. Nah. Oh no, he's so so low. Ko needs to use some alts here. Really, only use the Ko lesson since first point, and Morningside seems to be uh, just kind of running right now. And we're gonna switch over to a May. I, I like this call. I think. Uh, John's very comfortable in the May as well. Um, gives a lot of some wall ability for the um, just a lot more playmaking ability. That's gonna be Bastion ult going. Kyle's gonna ult on point. That's gonna be two down with three, four ults maybe. I'm not quite sure how many ults to use. Kyle needs to make sure to press left shift here. He is Ko just needs to make sure to stabilize here, and they should be good. Tons of damage. Oh. So very low. The longer this fight goes on, though, I believe the better it is for Ko. Not entirely sure. They're so low. Kiriko one. Ah, uh, Ani gets the kill at the end, and Eric's gonna be on this tracer, just looking to stall. Not entirely sure how this stall is gonna go. I don't think Kyle gets there. No, and Ko's gonna be in a four-minute hold here. Dangerous spot. Um, see if we opt for any other changes here, but it is gonna be the tracer May. Um. Great first pick. Co really needs to take advantage, get themselves maybe two fight territory here. Co really needs to just press the W key here, play super aggressive. 
really punish this Bastion here, potentially. Great wall to prevent heals, and the Bastion's gonna go down nice and late. Izzy's gonna try to stay alive here, wait for that passive to start ticking, get some healing, nice. So definitely in an uphill battle here. You can go early with the Coalescence, I love this call. It's gonna be a flank visor here. Ko really just needs to die in payload here or win this fight. We're gonna go with the Blizzard. Not sure if it's a good one. Kali oops the soldier into it. Oh, we are gonna die to the Blizzard, but this fight is messy, messy, messy. Casey really needs to just die in this payload. Letting them push is gonna be very, oh, very costly. Not sure if Ko gets a touch here. Yeah, I don't know if we do here. No, and that's going to be Morningside taking it 4-3 in the end. Tough to see Ko go out like that. Um, unfortunate. Thank you guys all for coming out, and I believe we're going to switch over to the Varsity third place match, if I am correct. Um, great season for the Academy team, top to bottom. A lot of improvement from a lot of people. Um, Tough way to go out, but uh, I know me and everyone at Co is incredibly proud of what they've uh, put forth, and I believe, um, you know, I, it, was a, it was a good, good, very close game. Uh, Morningside uh, with a great victory. Um, kudos to them, and uh, we wish them the best of luck in. I'm not sure what Nationals looks like, so I have no clue for an ACC. But wish them the best of luck moving forward. Um, and I believe we will be switching over to the varsity game as soon as one of us gets an invite. Um, I think they are just finishing up their first round, so. you have Overwatch open too for when we get an invite. Um, no, they're in first round and no clue what map. Uh, no clue what's going on, honestly, in that game, but make sure you have Overwatch launched. move over once they are done with that first map yeah we'll move over once they're done with that first map um i'll put it on the uh be right back and we'll be right back all right i should be muted all the way in that's tough and evidently we can't play last chance qualifier because Kyle says he can't He's on something that he can't miss, so our season is done. Yeah. I didn't think we'd lose this match. I mean, they just came out with the times for last chance qualifier last week. So, yeah. yeah. And the team and the team asks why why I didn't tell them. I'm like, it was posted in NECC. I can't be the be-all, end-all of making sure you go know, follow everything. <laughs> I got a lot of other teams here. For second place. Yeah, unless you win. Yeah. I mean, technically, we we do have one player, but uh, two players don't play well together. So. Yeah. They've been... They've been They've been scrimming at they've been scrimming at like a three point three. That's that's two last match like League of Legends went to game five and this one went to game seven. <laughs> uh, first point here is going to point three on control. Yeah.
Nope. Nope. Yep. So our season is about to be done with everything. Yeah, we have that, but NECC wise, I mean, I'm I can only I can only hold hands for so much. Like announcements are announced in NECC for a reason. Like everyone should be in NECC. <sighs> Um, actually, yeah, uh, map one, yeah, it's one, one. Oh, no, I did, uh, give the message to everyone on the 27th. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are gonna. All right, we're gonna get back into. Yeah, we have M. M
All right. So we will be back here. Uh, we'll be bringing uh, Max and um, Tori back in here soon. Um, let's see here. I need to put round winds and left side and the Kohawk. I don't have their... We're going to go to Shambali here. All right, let me unmute that, bring Tori back in, and same as Max. Hey, Tori. Hello, hello. All right, we are going to Shambali. This is the third place match. Uh, nothing on the line but some pride. Um, but yeah. All right, I'm back. I'm joined here by uh, Tori, my girlfriend. I don't know if Coach is here or not uh, for this third place match against Washington University. Nothing on the line here um, for Except this match, but uh, trophy. I mean, a third place trophy is on the line. So some pride, some pride for sure. Yep, and some pride. Uh, sounds like first round, uh, Co did take the W. Yep. So we are up 1-0 in map score. Um, and we, this is the first to three. We're just doing first to three. Yep. Uh, gotcha. Both teams decided to just do first to three for th this third place game. Yeah. Uh, see what we decided to come up with comp wise. Looking like Sigma Pope comp. Wouldn't be surprised. Very strong this map. We love our Shambali and we love our Shambali hold on defense. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward. Uh, I think the team might have cooked a little bit too hard, but uh, being that this is their last uh, competitive game this season um, outside of MBEC, which uh, rosters change and stuff like that. So um, I think they want to have some fun. And obviously, assuming they win, uh, fun is good, you know? But Val gets a great tap, double tap on that uh, Baptiste, and they are slowly fading away here. Riley's going to have to recall, but... See what he's able to do. Not gonna be able to get out, but they are down there, Baptiste. Tori, what do you think? Do you like uh, Sigma here, or do you are you more of an Orisa fan as a Moira player? Mm. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna have to go with Sigma. Ooh, Sigma I just, fan. I just feel like he mitigates a lot more damage than Orisa does. Get a great first rock there. Chris, very healthy, lots of HP. But I don't know, Chris's Orisa goes kind of crazy. Chris's Orisa does indeed go crazy. We're gonna look to rotate to point here as Riley gets a lot of free push. As they back up, we'll probably rotate back to height. Good little ring around the rosy. Mm, that rock to the face does not feel good. No, it does not. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna do this in an Australian accent. They puts the shield up. He takes it back. Quite the, uh, the, the accent there. The yeah. We're going to go with beat here. Uh, and they're going to dupe our Sigmas. Riley's just going to gonna continue to push. Dupe, 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 dupe. It is not looking good for our Sigma here. Oh, Val did not miss a shot there. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, Lucio looks to be getting through. aggressive here. Lucio doing our Lucio doing a good job protecting Val there, yes, pooping yes. him back out. Love to see this from your uh, support line. Say if he chooses to throw a rock at him. You can only do that if we play Junker. <laughs> you can only do that if we play Junker. They're gonna go with flux. I know. Here. I said the gravity flux. See if we we do nano. Not sure who it went on to if I'm being honest. And they're gonna go with the beat as Val is. Incredibly low. And we're gonna go with our own flux. Oh, no big time. It's massive. Big time flux. And they're gonna use a oh. window. They are gonna pick Kincaid, but I think Ko should be able to fight this and win out, yeah. And that's gonna be flux beat and window out from Wash U here, which means they'll only have support alts and or only have DPS alts here, I believe. Not sure if they get a touch though. Not looking like it. Val's gonna line up the nade. He puts his shield up. It's a quick tie down. Oh! 
They just got blubber blasted with the rock. They're gonna go with this uh, Sojourn ult. Very strong. Val doing her best impression of staying alive by the Bee Gees. <laughs> and Koga look to reset here. Koga gonna switch over to the Cassidy. Pretty good here. Um, I know I said it's it's bad, but it's actually really good. I don't like the hero still, but if you hit shots, it's pretty strong, so. You know, Railgun's looking to uh, throw some little rock rays at the other team here. Rock, rock, throw it at him. Ganks off the side. And they're gonna dupe here very aggressively on the Sigma. And we're gonna go with their own beat here. Good nade there. See if we're gonna go with any other alts besides beat here. Just try to delay through. Chris incredibly low. It's feeling Shit. pretty cramped in the tunnel here. That's gonna be flux out, and we're all incredibly low. Nate's gonna go down. Chris is gonna go down late. Surprised to see Conan opt for a rush comp here, but we're gonna get one pick late. But we're also gonna lose our Ana, and I think two more here as they're gonna chase some hills. Go really struggling to take this high ground against the Sojourn. We're gonna opt to just slowly walk this in. That's gonna be Flux out, beat out on their side. We do have a nano late into this. Nice pick, nice headshot there by Kelly Dud. Great shots coming out. And we're gonna walk away from that because that hurts. So looking to walk in here now. Big nade there. Great nade coming out from Val, and that's a critical nade and a critical kill late. And we're gonna go with the dead eye, which kills immortality. That's crazy. Okay. They were hiding in Whoa, the Kelly Dutt is in there. Respect. It's Kelly Dutt is out of there. I'll put you in the corner. Nice late beat there. I think there. we lost Tori's mic because it sounds really far away. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay. They are gonna dupe and I think they're gonna win this late. Co really needs to get just get out. Yeah, get out or die. Not looking Great. like we're gonna do either. I not just gonna opt to delay this die. for very long. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, I believe in this team. Someone will get there. <laughs> I don't think we have any touchers. Um I we're on Genji Dude. Believe... Maybe our tracer does actually. Our tracer might. I think our tracer has touch. Tracer does have touch. Is it a C9 angle? I knew. Oh. I knew. Sh I knew Tracer would. We, need, we do need one more touch. Chris, going oh. Oh, no. Chris is dead, and that looks like that will be round one. You know, I think we might spawn camp. I hope it happens. Who knows? Symbol of your heroes. <laughs> You're actually just gonna get muted. I'm, Wait, why? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Bring me here for a reason. I'm community relief. <laughs> I am for the people who don't know what they're watching, actually. We should do like a little quiz and like facts about Overwatch in between. For the parents who are watching who have no idea how to play. All right, there are three roles in Overwatch. <laughs> Name the one that's missing. I think that I should explain this. You know what a nano is? And what? You know my favorite part of a nano boost. Uh, okay, Derek's trolling. You want to know? It's what? the fact that they they get all glowy. They're all glowed up. They're sparkly. Co looking like we're gonna pull up the classic spawn hold. Knowledge is its own reward. Why was that so loud? Clever. Did you guys hear that Moira voice line? How loud that was? Wait, wait, Her wait, wait, mythic one is, is crazy loud. Is that is that how that works? When you crouch, you don't have footsteps? Yeah. Guys, facts with Tori. 
All right. Because I let's didn't know see what's that. about to happen. Now I know that. They don't see us, and they're <laughs> Hanzo's gonna oh, oh hit some nice oh, shots. Oh. oh. But Go. Ko's gonna get two nice picks, and they're not gonna be pushing payloads. So that's what we like to call a successful spawn hold. One fight win means successful spawn hold. The um, and the one white benefit in the boots. is Kincaid being the one who's dead. Um, oh, Val's so low. This is not looking good. But Ko's able to continue to hold this. Baptiste getting incredibly low. To me, left shift out. To me, lamp out. And, uh... No! It's gonna be a minute off the clock. Um, see if Ko opts to stay with this comp. I actually think it's really strong here. I am not beaten I think we should. I unironically think our Arisa comp is not very good. I think the Arisa comp sucks. I think everyone overvalues it. I think Rom Rush is actually best comp in game. Um, and I think Ko should just run to payload right now. I think we should just sprint. Press the W key. Just go. Right now. 3, 2, 1, go. We're gonna go on the Sigma. Sigma's gonna go down and Coalescence does go out, yes, but uh, we're gonna get our kills and uh, see if we opt to go back to the spawn hold. A little bit tougher here because they can just push payload, but. Yeah, they'll probably just pay, play uh, corner, I would guess. Yeah. yeah, especially that secondary corner here, very strong. Probably get some poke damage and look to play that, but. This corner right here, incredibly strong. Um, Chris getting very low. Oh, what a great defensive wall. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Riley's gonna throw a blizzard in. Chris is somehow living. Not sure how big the blizzard is. We are gonna lose one, but the beat is perfectly timed. They're gonna have a later beat, but I think we're gonna have a nice late Rommel to win this fight, potentially. Chris so incredibly close to that. I'm gonna look to pop it here. No, Co gonna look to hold it. I actually kind of like this call. The longer this fight goes on, the better it's looking as we're getting incredibly close to a flow lessons here. And now we're gonna go with the Rommel on to two here. Great timing on that. Oh, and Kelly Dead wants this. Co looking very strong. Uh, Rom Rush looking really good for Co. Something we're very comfortable on as well. Curry, what do you think? Do you like this Ramatra Rush comp? Oh, Kincaid wants a kill. He does not like this Baptiste player. You know, player. I do love it, and I, I just love V's Moira. I really do. V's Moira and Kincaid's Lucio. A classic duo. That'll go down in the Hall of Fame. We'll have and to retire the jerseys, the, everything. The skin goes pretty hard. Yeah, I do appreciate that while she allows skins. Respect that. That's uh. We are gonna have this code lesson. See if we opt to just run. And they're gonna switch to Orisa here. Gonna be beam out. See if we just opt for uh, an Arissa rush here. Or uh, we see Javelin come out. Surprised to see us not just go with coalescence here. And we will here. And their Lucio is stuck in this corner, very very low. Is gonna be able to get out, unfortunately. But go so coming up on a Blizzard, which I think is gonna be massive. And this is last fight territory, so Washu does need to win this fight. And that's going to be spin out and cleanse. See if we go with a. And we're going to go with the blizzard. Not sure if it's big or not big at all. We are going to trade. Oh, they are going to cleanse TP. So incredibly low. They're going to have a beat. And I think Ko will have to refight this. Valve definitely needs to just die in point here. The longer Valve stalls, the actually better this is because we will. Hopefully get a Ramatra ult for this fight. It's gonna be sketchy. And Ko's gonna look probably to fight this fours, yep. And they C9. Oh, the C9 comes out! Oh no. Unbelievable. Oh no. Oh no. That's oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I will be right back.
right, it looks like we're going to go into New Junk City for map three. I like we just went in right away and it's like, R, we're re ready to go right away. Yep. All right, we're playing some JQ Rush. Love, love to see it. Right, me Ana with this. A little bit surprised to see, but and they're gonna be on Mauga. Thank God we have an anti. That hero is dumb. Oh wait, they're on Arissa. Okay, never mind. That's gonna be spin and javelin and gold out. So it looks to see Ko's gonna walk in here. Big anti. Ooh, that's a nice spear, though. Ko is even right now. Uh, we are both down a DPS. Oh. We're going to get a late anti here. We are going to lose Nico. Anti goes in. Not sure where. No cleanse out here. And looks like they might have overstepped here for sure. And Ko looking for another anti. It's gonna get eaten up, unfortunately. Railgun getting low. Oh, Queen goes down. Beat and Nano come out. Oh, a nice fade away. Boom, 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 boom. Fade away, Nate. Kobe Bryant. Or some peace. Derek goes down there to the Lucio late. Luckily, he's Genji. Should be back relatively quick. If we had DPS Doomfist, be back like two seconds. Bring back DPS Doomfist so I can hit Masters. Um, we're gonna put the Arissa to sleep. Ko's gonna back up here. We are all gonna go, and we're gonna go with the Blade. And that's gonna be beat out from them and Overclock as well. Two very big alts here, and Ko just gonna look to die in point and reset, probably. Um, beat Overclock. Uh, probably gonna have a blade of their own. Uh, maybe not, actually. Only a thousand damage would be kind of surprising, actually. We will have a Railgun Ultimate here. 
coming up on another Nano as well. A bit anti. See if we can force Cleanse. Their risk is incredibly low. And we're gonna get their Arisa. That's a big pick. Co needs to make sure we just go to point here. That's gonna be uh, what we like to call valuable Dragon Blade. Um, their Genji just experienced what it's like to play uh, Genji in 2020. So their Kiriko is gonna get out. It looks like, but we do kill their Lucio. Look at already. that, Derek able to get revenge on the Lucio. Not sure what their touch looks like either. Here, gonna be a little bit messy. They might just give Derek incredibly though. Really needs to back up. I think they have to have someone go underneath. No touch. No touch, actually. No touch. Kind of surprised to see that. Coach is probably going to opt to press left shift and speed boost and run. Four ults on the board, too. Love to see that. Um, I think this is going to be a big ult fight. I think both teams have four ults. Uh, I think both teams have everything but Dragon Blades, so. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably got a Rissa ult here. See if we opt to force cleanse. Maybe left shift out. Nico is going to go down, unfortunately. Good timing on the beat. Good anti there onto their Lucio. We are going to lose D late. Not sure if we'll be able to fight this now. There's going to be cleanse. Derek playing ring around the Rosie. We are going to get one. Derek almost two seconds on his deflect. Might be able to live through this. He is going to be able to live through this. Is he going for a blade? No, no, okay. He was 3 HP. I wanted him to, but... That would have been crazy. I would have done it. I would have, <laughs> but I would yeah, have done it. Yeah, you would have done it, and you would have died uh, half a second later. I would have done it, and my <laughs> response would have been, I trolled. I trolled, guys. You know, you would have said, could you imagine? <laughs> imagine if I live there. That's true. I would have said that. <laughs> Tori can attest, every time I play this game, my response is, imagine if my team healed me there. Imagine if I got heals. Imagine if I got peel. Imagine if I didn't have... Imagine, imagine you were in position. Imagine I didn't troll. What? A, just imagine I didn't troll that. Nano blade. They're gonna beat. Doesn't matter. This hero's bounce. Derek gets three, four slashes off there. They're all so low. So close. Chris, Chris very low. Whoa. I think this will be point two going over. See if we go to actual characters here. I do think Junker Queen Rush is actually good here. No, but Moira instead of Ana. Oh, actually, Doomfist goes Omega hard here. Doom Ana actually is okay. If yeah, we play Doom, I like it's okay. I like the Doom Ana. Yeah. This is okay. I also think it's okay. The team wants to have some fun too. I don't mind. Third place. Like we said, we're playing for a trophy. Yeah, ride. We I, are want a, I want a third two. place trophy here. <laughs> the uh, Doomfist can get very valuable here. Oh, uh, Derek goes down super early. Very aggressive gameplay there. Good anti here. That's going to force cleanse. Kirko incredibly low. Surprised to see Chris not going. Must not have left shift. Oh, Chris is probably just gonna die here. Oh, we do have an amp, but I think he's still just dead. Yeah. Cleanse is gonna come out. Anti coming out on their Arisa. Oh no, we might Ajax. We don't Ajax, that's good. Uh, but our beat missed the three most important people, unfortunately. Genji, one HP. We are able to trade one, but uh, I think that'll be second point. Going over to them as well. See if Kincaid's able to get out. Looks like he might be able to. And we're gonna go over we to Mortar and Mortar. Cass. No. Oh, we're not fun enjoyers. Oh, we're uh, winning is fun. True, true, true. Uh, we have two maps to give. <laughs> true, but I don't want to be or here two, all two night points. either. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. I guess that's fair. I have some Marscapone cake waiting in a fridge for me. And Tori.
Tori can have Marscapone Cake too. Nice. All right, we're here and to I the point can... first. Uh, vanilla. Uh. <laughs> gonna be an Arisa match now. They're gonna be on the Genji. Um, very hard to play Genji into this comp now. It's gonna be gold out first from them. We are able to get a great pick onto their Sojourn. Great spear coming out. Really just need to live through this now and we should be okay. Their damage very much so falls off, yeah. Good fight there from Ko. And Kelly Dunn uh, hitting some shots. I'm raising canes again tonight. I had it last night, but it sounds really good. I might get it again. Have you tried Chick Fil A's new uh, smoothies? Uh, Their cherry smoothies. I've heard they're really good. The not haven't, but I had just the like the lemonade. The lemonade smoothie is really good. But apparently, the, they have a cherry limeade one or something ooh. like that. I haven't tried the smoothie one. I've just tried like the, yeah. the liquid one. The smoothie. I love smoothies. That that would sound really good. Honestly, smoothies just always hit, like, fruit smoothies. Uh, it's kind of going to look to take this fight. Great Orisa ult here. It's going to be beat out. Their Orisa's going to ult. We're going to Ajax. Uh, Kincaid did hear that they Ajax. And we're still going to wow. be looking to fight this. I think Riley Unbelievable. just Unbelievable, yeah. I think Riley just didn't miss. Riley's like, this point is mine. Just mine. All mine. <laughs> yeah, Derek also just didn't miss, and they just didn't kill Val, so. Yeah. You know, going into the last point, we know where it is. A uh, little bit unfortunate it's near their spawn, so they will probably just have advantage, I think. Oh, Derek's dead here for sure. Yeah. Good spear. Yeah, overzealous there without our team. <laughs> And we'll have to wait for Derek here. Is they're gonna switch over to the Tracer? See if we swap over to the Sojourn potentially, but right now the cast is hitting, so uh keep playing cast, you know. There's Sojourn asking if we want a croissant, my answer is yes. Chocolate <laughs> variety play? What do you think? Mm, yes, toasted please. Go is able to get there before they cap though, which is very, very good. Riley taking a duel on that right side. We're gonna go with this cast alt and uh, do the classic cast alt thing and just die. Kiriko getting incredibly low though. Not sure if we have TP or cleanse and they're gonna lose their Kiriko and Ko might be able to turn this. We are gonna give a point, but we almost have a coalescence here. No, not gonna be able to. Thought maybe if we got the Ko up. Mm. Close. Ko gonna be coming up on a lot of alts here. Not sure what uh, watch you has probably a beat, a probably a result, probably Kiriko ult. I think they have everything but Soj ult. Yeah, We're gonna go with our. It's gonna be beat forced out relatively early from them. Oh, we are gonna lose our Moira, and I. Unless Kincaid builds a beat and doesn't Ajax. Oh, but we lose. Riley really needs to go sicko mode to win this. We do have a pulse. I've seen him hit five bands before. <laughs> he kills himself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Uh, We're gonna go uh, we'll to the next map. Map four.
All right. Patriots, yeah, I do love canes. Love it. Love canes. So, uh, we are going to go into map three here. And undefin and bring Tori back in here. All right. Hello. Going to Esperanza. Uh, get this map win and then uh we'll take third place uh wash you looking to extend see what co decides to come out with here um we have decided that we're no longer allowed to play lucio uh too many ajaxes um oh oh and we're gonna instantly play the lucio that we're gonna have to ban him from the team permanently um, with that many Ajaxes under his name, I think he has three or four. Uh, probably just gonna have to perma ban him from that hero. You know, that's a you know that's a game code we should uh give to Kincaid as an anti Ajax game code. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, Code gonna go back to the Arisa comp. Uh, surprised to see us sticking with the Cassidy. Um, I think it plays better with the Moira than the Baptistas. Um, gives a lot of peel. See if we're going to look to give Riley a little bit more freedom too and use the Cassidy to match the Tracer. Oof. I don't actually think they were aiming for Riley, unfortunately, there. Lucio's getting very creative here, but Code not having a lot of damage here. Don't let them push your head. No swaps coming out here. A little bit unfortunate we lose our Tracer early, so not surprising we lose the fight. That's crazy. Moira Orb gives 8% ult every 5 seconds. It's like 40 seconds, you basically have ult. So we're gonna look to take the high ground here. And they're gonna look to wrap on us. So we'll have to drop eventually. It's like we're gonna do so now. Lucio gets very aggressive here. Chris is in there. We are gonna be forced to drop. See if we... We are gonna trade one. Kiriko getting very low here. And it's gonna be cleanse out. And that's gonna be point one going over to wash you. See if Co can turn around here. Uh, the 70 meter mark's really where it starts to get very hard to win games in general. Uh, The Arisa gets very aggressive here. Probably has ult would be my assumption. We are going to pick their Sojourn, and their Lucio is just so aggressive. It's going to be Beat coming out as we are going to trade. No cleanse here. We are going to lose our Tracer. And Ko, despite using ults here, not looking like we're going to be able to win this, as they're going to get to the 70 meter mark. 
Beat does go down in time here. Chris incredibly low though, is probably gonna go down to this Sojourn out. Yeah. Really need to trade some kills here very quick if we wanna have a chance to win this. We are gonna get their Kiriko, Sojourn's very low. V does trade two back, but... Looks like it's gonna be all... <sighs> really surprised to see us keep playing Cassidy here. I... I... I, I don't know. I've, I've tried and tried and tried. Cassidy, no... Hey, we swap! Yay! Might be a little too late, but... The Sojourn swap is good. Kind of just a never-ending battle here in this corridor. I think eventually their tracer will just win out and start pushing bot. It really needs to just make a decision here. Otherwise their Arisa is just going to sit here and tank damage forever with Kiriko. Yeah, we can kind of see they're just going to forced to back up here as we lose her. Yeah. Very confused by the play right now with Ko in these rotations. This Washi was more than happy just to delay this inevitably. They are gonna miss Pulse. I believe it's gonna be... Chris incredibly low, probably will go down here, yeah. V is able to trade one back, but I think it'll be too little too late. We will not be able to finish off any other kills here. Ko just looks very disjointed. Um. And Washu is able to turn the fight around despite losing too early. Uh, it's looking more and more likely as this match goes on, we are going to go to a map 5. Uh, I have no clue what they... Is it Escort for map 5? Do you know? They took the robot. Let's fix that. Not so fast. <laughs> looking to maybe turn this around with the coalescents, but not looking like it. It looks like we will be full pushed here in seven minutes. Um, as Ko looks to regroup and uh, refight.
Entering King's Row. my own arrows each one a meditation i prefer to walk alone but i suppose you will do stay here will you i hate when people run off without me Evidently, we're gonna. All right. Evidently, we're gonna have theirs back. They yeah, didn't uh, switch us. No, they did. It's a game bug. We just can't swap heroes either. Oh, sweet. Um, Ko gonna be on Ramatra Rush. And we'll watch. I'll be watching their May. <laughs> I'm stuck on their Lucio, so we're gonna go with the Ko lessons late, and they don't even get a tick. I like to see Kill in the Rush here. Get back to what we know. Yep. Um, yep. I do like it. Um, obviously, yeah. Let's see if they're able to switch it up here. Um, yeah, not entirely sure what's going on. Probably just a lobby bug. But at this point, I would rather just deafen and not say anything on stream and play the game out. Because if they restart at this point, I'm actually going to lose my mind. Not sure why we paused, but... Yeah, still not able to swap. It is what it is. I will make sure to be selective with what I say. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. I'm in Minnesota. Stream can hear me, team, but team can't, um, and I know, obviously, don't yeah. want to give any information away, but they're going to switch over to a May here, or I believe they actually had me, maybe I was wrong. We're going to go with our beat here, and a blizzard. Blizzard looks very good here. Oh, it's their blizzard. Uh, we are gonna lose our Reaper here. Yeah, I gotta forget that as we're watching them. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna oh, go with Ramal here and our own Blizzard to push them off point and. Oh. Oh. Tons wow. of damage comes down there. Yeah. Really got melted. Looks like they will be able to cap here. Are gonna be able to cap here first. The weird thing is, I can see Ko's ultimates, but not the other teams. <laughs> this is such a weird spectator bug. I love this game. Ko should be able to get a fight here on this corner, which is very strong for our comp. We're 
We're gonna go aggressive on their main, get a great pick. We are gonna lose our main as well, but honestly, uh, better for us with this rush comp, and that's gonna be a Orisa ult. They are gonna get a kill onto our Ramatra here, but Ko should be able to stall this out for a very long time here. what Ko's able to do here. We do have Beat and a Reaper ult here. It's like a good wall into their Kitsune. We are gonna, they are gonna lose their Sojourn first here and they're gonna beat late. They are gonna Blizzard, which is gonna catch our Ramatra, which I think should kill our Ramatra, yeah. See if we go with the Reaper ult at all. We are gonna go with the Reaper ult. Is they're all incredibly low here, and I think Koda will be able to stabilize, and that's a good fight win with uh, two ults. We are gonna have Blizzard, Coalescence, and a Ramash ult here. Tori, what do you think? What do you think the key to success here for Ko is? Is it Dove Chocolate? Um, I think the key to success is uh, Justice. And it shall be served. On a platter. Ko gonna be looking to take this fight, um... Maybe a little bit aggressive. of rage as well. They're May very aggressive here. Gonna probably be forced to ice block. Does get healed up just in time. Good wall here by Ko. Let's be cleansed out already. And a great wall and a great blizzard to force disengage. And Ko gonna look to trap him in this little room here and get some late picks. Is their wrist is so incredibly low. He is gonna go down. And Ko doing a really good job here. Getting some late picks, doing well, and... One minute left here, and Ko also doing a good job of only using Blizzard there, so... Riley just not missing on this Mei in this high ground. He's just having some fun. As I just realized, Val is on a deathless game right now. And they're gonna go aggressive trying to catch our Mei out of position, but... Ko just gonna back around this corner. Well done here. And that's gonna be May block, and they're gonna lose their Sojourn who goes way too aggressive, way too quick here. It's gonna be beat May ult, Arissa ult as well. As I believe Chris will go down here, but we do still have a Reaper ult. No clue what Kelly Dud's doing. If he gets out, it doesn't look like he will, and I think Ko will be forced to reset here. We do possibly have a beat here. We do have a beat. We are going to lose oof, lose too late. It looks like Ko will be forced to regroup on this third point. Ko not going to be able to get a touch. Good Maywall from their side, so. Oh, Chris incredibly low. Going to be forced to back up here. And we are going to lose Chris. Kind of surprised if we go that aggressive there. And they're going to switch over to the Reaper as well. We're going to lose some late players to Staggers here. Cohen two fight territory, about a minute left. Guarantees one fight for sure. Um, probably a little half touch fight depending on how, fight the, uh, the, how fast the fight is, so. Good Maywall, really good Blizzard. Really gonna split off their Arissa. This Ko's gonna go with kind of everything here. Really needs to stabilize here. Not gonna be able to though, unfortunately. Ko will get one more fight with this very uh, late stagger here. And we do have Ramatra ult and Reaper ult. The Reaper ult potentially very strong. Big thing here is making sure you get a, a good touch. And we're just gonna Reaper TP to point. I kinda like it. And our Reaper dies instantly. And that's gonna be Ramatra ult. We need to make sure we touch. We are able to touch. And Chris will just 
keep this Ramatra up ult as long as possible here. Try to let everyone else do as much damage as possible. And we're gonna have a Reaper ult very late in this fight. And we're gonna boop off the map. Oh, we're not booped off the map. It was so close. Co just needs to make sure we stay on point here and it looks like we will be able to clean up. And I think Ko will be able to clean this up and Ko has a win con. Love to see it. Wow, that is crazy. Hopefully our spectator bug gets reset here. It's a very yeah, weird. That would be nice. I don't really care that much, honestly. Also, on, in lobby, it is right. So, as far as... Um... Don't have spec it. all. You just give me your spec all, too. Yeah, I was I, saying, I no, I don't us. have spec all. Uh, here, I will... Oh, wait, I have Nico now. Oh, was it fixed? I don't see the other I don't see I the other team, so I think I think it got fixed. Yeah. Sweet. Cool cool. Setting my equalizer to absolute destruction. Oh good. Co has a win con. You know what we also have? Justice. A reason. And they're looking like it's gonna be, I would imagine, same comps on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you're watching, definitely not disappointed by any means with that push. But they're, Lucio's incredibly low here. Gonna be forced to amp, and we might just run, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're Lucio forced to amp so early, get, and Ko's just gonna there. walk in. Press love the it. W key, Ko! We love to see it. And. Yeah! Get back there. There we go. Nicely done. I just love it. It's a good way to uh, assert dominance. Yeah, and taking that fight super quick, our ults look really good, and I would imagine besides their support ults, they're going to be very far behind. And immediately pushing up. Oh, Nico, very low. We're going to have to try to get him out of a tough spot here. And they might overextend here. We might be able to turn this as Nico's not gonna be able to get out, but oh no, we lose both our DPS. Our and Nico's gonna are. run to the hills. That javelin might help Chris get out. Oh, he takes the long way. Oh no, Chris. Run. <laughs> now nah, he will be able to get topped off and we'll have three ults going into the next next fight though. We're gonna go with a... Oh, I don't know if we're gonna win this. This Coalescence is doing a ton of damage. A ton of work, and we're gonna be able to stop off. Maybe we do fight this, you know what? We won't. This is gonna be an old Bonanza fight. I have no doubt in my mind in there. Orisa's getting very low. So our May is almost back. Our May is back. We're gonna look to just walk, and we're gonna go with beat. I like this. Press the W key. Oh no, Chris is stuck. Oh, that's such a big blizzard. And I think Chris is gonna die. And Nico's gonna be running for the hills. You know, I think it, they should just target the main. Because then they can't blizzard if they don't build all, you know? Yeah, very hard to kill the main though with the ice block. You get eight exactly. seconds of invulnerability. Oh, you gotta keep eyes on them at all times. <laughs> Hashtag no maze allowed. In the game, because it blizzards and that's not. Careful, SpongeBob. What? <laughs> They're gonna look to wall. Oh, it's gonna be a flank reaper, but doesn't get anyone. Kincaid's incredibly low, but we're gonna go with our own. And their beats can be Punch late. And they in the face. Should be able to fade out of this. This fight is very, very messy. Get up! Their Arisa is so get very up. low. Their May is so very low. They're all so very Let's low. Get... Chris. Oh no, dang it. See if we fight this with Coalescence. I think we should. I think just... 
No, they're gonna give. Okay, this is actually really good for us. Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, stream. Vermont is running to get there. The Vow's still in a deathless game, actually, I just realized. It's gonna be Javelin out, see if we- ooh, not able to keep Riley alive there, unfortunately. They overextend- we could go with the Coalescence here, honestly. Nah, Ko gonna look to give space. I think we should put the pressure on him. Valet, 20k healing, by the way, in 12 minutes. And we're gonna go aggressive here. I, I like this call. Press the W key. That's how the comp works. Get in there. Oh no. Kid, kid. Railgun so low. They are gonna go with the blizzard of their own. We do get a beat off in time. And I think we'll be able to live through this. That is gonna be both of our alts out. But get I believe that's both of theirs as well. It's gonna be a later beat from them. If Ko can disengage, this should be able to refight very effectively. Kelly Dead is gonna go down, but. And I don't think we'll be able to chase kills, so that's gonna be everything but Orisa ult and Reaper ult out, so. We're gonna go with our Ramatra ult here, it looks very good. He's so low, Reaper so low, we are gonna get Reaper, Railgun is gonna be able to get one as well, and Ko looks like they're gonna clean this up and be in a good spot here with just the Reaper ult, or Ramatra ult going down. Nice. I love when he punches people in the face. <laughs> get him. Um, Ramatra's weapon reminds me of those, like, little, like, BB guns that shoot Orbeez. <laughs> <laughs> Ramatra, you know I mean? Ramatra has an Orbeez gun. Ramatra yeah. has an I Orbeez. do. See what an Orbeez. ops for it. And that's going to be wall down. See if we go aggressive here with a coalescence. I think we should. And we're going to. And we're going with the Reaper ult. I think the Reaper ult's really big. Tons of damage up. That's going to be beat out as well. Nar Chris is not going to be able to get out. But that's going to be two alts down from them. Not sure if we're able to tr trade this or not, no. I know, it's an Orbeez staff. And that is two very important Orbeez staff. <laughs> the Orbeez gun staff. Co in one fight territory, in my opinion, at this point. And it comes out of one big Orbeez. The ball. The ball in the middle is just a giant Orby. It dispenses <laughs> endless smaller Orbeez. That's gonna be a wall down. See if we go with the blizzard. Cosmic Orby. Oh, we're rocking the blizzard. I love it. It's such a good blizzard. It's such a good blizzard. We should go with beat. Press the W, Kiko. Keep him in the corner. Put the babies in the corner. Chris looking to just live. We're so very close to a coal. Get him, 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 get him. Derek is able to TP. Oh no, not able to TP. We have Ramatro! This is how Ko wins it. And I believe that'll be it. We are asserting all of the dominance. Oh, this this Arisa lives so long though. Never mind. GG's, it's Jover. It's Jover. There we go. Oh my goodness. Sometimes it's just Woo. That's just how we have it. That's just that's a way to make it deserved win. Third place finish there for Co. And uh we'll be back. Yeah, Chuckles, that's a good uh, I don't know. It was te technically to just to their team, but we were on their support. Or they were on their spec because of a bug. So um, but we'll be back tomorrow with MVEC, uh, semifinals with, uh, with, uh, Warper. So, uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for 
Riley and Riley. Thanks for Max and Tori uh, for casting. And we'll be back tomorrow.